Hey, what's up, everybody? This is uh, Charles Gardner coming to you from Synergy Strength Systems again. Um, I'm continuing the series on bench press tips, ways to bring your bench press up. And I am going to talk about something that you may have heard before from other coaches, but I'm going to just reiterate it, try and get it branded in your head. Um, and it's about foot placement when you're on the bench. Now, how many of uh, you out there have been in the gym, seen the guys on the bench, maybe even seen, uh, felt yourself doing this, and if my camera person would uh, go down to my feet, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, guy gets on the bench, he's on there, and his feet are out here, or one's here, or one's here, or one's here, when he has the bar in his hands. Okay, now what you want, as I sit back up, is you want your feet to be tucked behind you. Okay, as opposed to splayed out in front of you, as you saw me just over exaggerate. But I have seen this, this is also called breaking form. Okay, when you get under, you want to make sure that your feet are tucked. If you'll pan the camera down, you'll see my feet are tucked a little bit under and behind me. This allows me to do a couple of things. One, create a higher arc in my back, and then Two, allows me to push my heels toward the ground. Okay, now when I'm pushing my heels toward the ground, I'm using, um, I'm not too good at physics, but I believe it's inertia. If I'm, if I'm wrong, please correct me. Uh, I'm using inertia to generate that force to push, to push through the ground and out through my hands. Um, so there's the tip right there. Make sure you keep your feet solidly placed on the ground um, and tucked behind you as opposed to splayed out here in some weird, crazy fashion. Okay? All right. You guys have a, have a good day. Continue getting strong. Um, I think this will help you. All right.